So welcome to a new guide on this channel and this one is the Chop Shop EQ. Now this is not a review but a deep dive guide about this plugin. Now everything is in tiny chapters so if you look at the description or the timeline you can jump to a section or skip the ones you don't want. So if you like what I do remember to like and subscribe and if you want to buy me a coffee you can check the links at the description. Right, so let's talk about the Chop Shop. This is a very simple but cool EQ. And it's not one of the most popular, uh, you know, EQs out there on Plugin Alliance, but it's really cool. And even though it has four knobs and it looks kind of a funky, it looks, uh, looks a little bit weird, it can do some cool, you know, cool stuff. Now, the thing is that, uh, of course, you, you have the four knobs, but the magic happens when you start pressing the buttons. Okay, so let's just see what they can do. And this is how I like to do the, these guides. First, they give you kind of a more visual, very visual representation of what the plugin will do. And then once we know all the controls and, you know, what to expect from the buttons and everything else, then we go and we use it on a track. Okay, so you have four different sections and they're very different. You get the high cut, the low cut and the focus. Now, let's start right here at the top. Now, this is a high cut, of course, is going to cut. Now, as you can see right here, it's doing a little bit of cutting and this is uh, pretty kind of aggressive. It goes from 25K from uh, and 500, but the curve is just a little bit too aggressive. If I move it, nothing is going to happen. And this is for all the sections. You need to toggle this, you know, toggle on. So right now it's off so we need to toggle on and as soon as you do you're gonna have a you know this tiny tiny little curve so even though you're uh cutting cutting from 25k it's just you know do a little bit a little bit of cut right there so if i start cutting of course we are going to be cutting uh, high frequencies and that's cool you know it's a very 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 simple thing now then of course we get the buttons and this is again where the magic starts to happen when you do this what this will do it will create a kind of a resonant peak and by default this is enabled you can disable this so this is pretty much is going to turn this uh this cut and use it uh, within the range of 24 20.5k 20, uh, k and 250 so the slope of course is going to start in 250 so, of course, you can cut a little bit more. And just by doing this, it's like a multiplier. Pretty simple. You know, you get uh, you get it on a lot of uh, EQs. Now, the thing is that with this one, what it does and what's uh, special, when you do the rest, it's going to add a resonant, a resonant peak. And this is kind of the vibe of this plugging. You can, of course, do some high cutting and low cutting like you would do with any other EQ, but it gives you this tiny bumps that you see right here. So now, of course, if you sweep, it's going to kind of create this, you can create this effect of uh, filter sweeping with the resonant peak, which is what you will do with the filter. But in this case, you're doing with the chop shop, which is, you know, something uh, cool, you know? Okay, so this is, that's it, you know, this is high cut. You can cut, of course, you can disable the multiplier, and when you disable this, the resonant peak will not, uh, you know, will go away. So you can only use it when you're doing this. And it's because, again, the main vibe of this one is so you can sweep the frequencies and just, you know, get that resonant peak. That's the idea. So I'm going to go and turn this one off, and we're going to talk about the low cut. And this is pretty interesting. So by default, of course, this is a low cut. It's going to cut frequencies. So if I go from 20 to 530, it's just going to do that, right? It's just going to cut. Now, then, of course, you get the bump right here. Maybe I'm going to go and put it right there. So you can go all the way up or all the way down. Now, all the way down is just going to, you know, do a little bit less. But if you go up, it's going to give you that tiny, tiny little bump that is, you know, useful. Now, of course, you cannot argue that the, the bump, uh, it's not super aggressive, right? It's just very mild. But what you can do, you can do more. Now, when you do more, it's going to give you, again, that kind of a resonant peak. And again, this is the vibe of the plugging. So if you do more, it's just going to go crazy. And if you go all the way down, of course, it's going to do nothing. But the fact that you can do this is, again, that you can go and just sweep the, like this. Sweep like a filter. So, okay, so again, that's the main idea of this plugging, just sweeping and maybe boosting some of the frequencies. So you can use it as a kind of a normal EQ, a uh, special normal, normal EQ, but then you can do uh, things like, like this, which is not super common in all the EQs. All right, so that's fine, you know, it's just, it's good. Um, it's creative, let's say, but it's not enough to say, okay, man, I want this plugging. Okay, so then you have the low rider right here and then you have the focus so this again it's very special so uh, right now we are doing that bump that's cool and if i go right here and i enable this is going to do this 
So this kind of a creates a combination of that cut that we were creating and a shelf. And of course, it's pretty aggressive. It's going to boost, then you get the bump right here. And then again, is this bump. And you can go all the way down if you don't want the bump. But then it's going to create a shelf and then it's going to deep uh, dip the light right here. And then it's going to go back to uh, right here. So this is again what it does. Now, of course, you cannot argue this is just a little bit too aggressive. Uh, so what you can do, you can make a blend of the of them both, you know, the cut and the shelf. So if you go to the dry section, it's going to do less and less and you're going to be getting, you know, into something more normal, let's say. So, uh, of course, the bump, it's something really cool. So you can do something like this and get closer and you're going to be doing a shelf with a tiny bump and then a dip right here, which is something super cool. Right, so of course, if you go closer to dry, almost nothing, you're going to get um, pretty much nothing. And if you go right there, you're going to be getting a little bit. So by just doing this and just maybe uh, applying a little bit of cut right here with a maybe not a resident peak, uh, you're going to get something maybe uh, something interesting, right? Okay, so you can do even more. Now, of course, if you go to the other side, it's just uh, going to go and do more and do more and do more. This is just going to, you know, give you a different a different sound. But then you have the low rider. Now, when you do the low rider, it's pretty much the same idea we had on the high cut. We can turn this into a filter. So it's going to give you that bump, that resonant peak that we uh, we used on the high cut. And then you can use this to kind of a create an effect to sweep the frequencies. So, so yeah, this, this this plugin gives you something very simple, but then when you start to, you know, pressing the buttons, it's going to give you something else. This is why, you know, I kind of like this plugin. It's very interesting. Of course, this is how it works. Let me go to a default preset. Uh, I'm going to go restore defaults. We are back to nothing. So then you have the focus. Now, of course, uh, as you, we, when you use this, notice that, of course, the curves and sometimes they're going to be a little bit too aggressive, let's say. Even if we go right here and we do something like that, and if we do more, we're gonna do something maybe like that. And if I enable this, it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit maybe too aggressive. So the focus, what it uh, is, is a tilt EQ. It can go and lean over, you know, towards the bass side or the travel side. So if I go to the bass, it's gonna move all the way to the bass. It's gonna kind of a uh, you know tilt. So right now it's off. So when I enable this, it's gonna go give you more bass and lower, you know, lower the travel side. And if you go the all the other way, it's going to do the all the other the opposite. Remember that you can still, you know, cut right here and go and do something like that. So you can adjust whatever it is that you're doing. Maybe you want more of this or you want less of this. And again, so, you know, it's a tiny, tiny little uh, feature, the focus, uh, which is a tilt. Uh, but it's very useful because some of the curves are just a little bit too aggressive. So this is just going to, you know, kind of a, give you different, uh, a different uh, reference. Now, then you have the shift. Now, the shift is, uh, is, so is uh, actually very interesting. When you do shift, you, you don't see a lot of difference right here when you do it. And it's because of the curves. Now, you need to do some tilt in order to see what the shift is going to do. So the shift, it kind of uh, shifts the middle, the breaking point. You know, when we tilt, it's just going to change the position or where, where we are kind of uh, shifting. So if I shift, notice that this is just going to change where it's doing it. And if I go all the way to the travel side, and again, it's just a little bit more clear. Now, if I restart and do this uh, to defaults, you can, uh, you can maybe not use whatever it is that you're doing right here, and you can just use the tilt. Now, when you do this, you're going to get more travel, or you're going to get more vague. So, again, this EQ has kind of many faces. And if you do shift, it's going to, of course, change where that, you know, middle range is going to start breaking. So it's, again, it's just going to change the breaking point. So, yeah, that's it. If you go to travel, same thing. Right, so just using it like this, you can use it as a shelf EQ. So yeah, let, let me just go back to default. So this EQ, uh, again, looks, uh, looks a little bit funny, uh, but you have a lot of options uh, on just a very small amount of knobs and buttons. But the combinations of the different buttons is what gives you, you know, something pretty unique. Right, so I've got a tiny, tiny, tiny uh, little track right here. So I'm going to do some playing. Uh, yeah, this is the track. 
just driving me crazy. Uh, this is a free track, and of course I use this uh, just to avoid copyright, you know, <laughs> on YouTube, because that's uh, something very common. So this is a free track that YouTube keeps you. It's already mastered, so, you know, we can do a little bit of EQ and see uh, what we can do with this. So I'm gonna do play. And we're gonna start with a high cut. Now remember, you can just cut frequencies like that. Of course, it's not doing anything. We need to enable. So now, and if you enable, you can hear something that's very small right there. And you need to use good headphones or good speakers. Right now, I'm doing this on headphones, which is maybe not the best idea, but if not, it's just if I use my monitors. Is it real? It's cutting a lot. Again, that's the whole vibe of this. Now, what happens if you do this? And we are, 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 uh, we are adding that resonant peak. We can hear that, you know, that peak. Sweeping. If I turn it off, we have no peak. So again, this could be an effect, not just an EQ. So for now, I'm just gonna turn it off. I don't want to cut high frequencies. Or maybe I do, you know, because the, those shakers are just, uh, the tambourines are just driving me crazy. If I do too much, it's gonna be too dark. It's gonna do a tiny bit, something like that. All right. So let's see what happens with the bump. Remember, we can boost the lows. We need to enable it. I'm gonna enable it now and just go right here. And this is gonna be cutting. All right, so maybe I don't want to cut that much, but what I want to do, I want to go all the way on the bump. If I go, we can get it, but of course it's not very obvious. So remember the more is gonna give us that peak, that resonant peak. I want to say resonant, but it's just gonna give us a lot more. And if I do it, we can hear it, right? So maybe I want to focus right there. And if I turn it off and on. It's right. Right, it's a very subtle, of course. Now, remember that the magic something, some of the, the magic starts to happen right here. If I do this, you can hear the bass, right? I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on. Listen to the bass, and you can uh, up, you can even watch it right here. It's a lot of subs. Of course, this is kind of a, a little bit too aggressive for me, so I'm just gonna go down. Maybe a little bit of this. Go right there. Oh, can you hear the bass? I'm oh, catching that. All right, let me just adjust this so we can get a little bit of that boom of the bass. So if I turn it off, no bass, and we get a lot, you know, a lot more of this section. I can like it. Now, if I do low, remember this is what it will do. It will just sweep. It's cutting pretty much everything. So. Remember that we get that resonant peak? And right here, we know we can hear that, that peak. All right, so I don't want to do this. Of course, this is not the effect I want. Maybe I'm gonna go over there and just find the base. There we go. Now, of course, we can tilt. Maybe the bass is too much, and maybe the, uh, maybe the, the uh, travel side, you know, the high frequencies are too much, so we can tilt it. So maybe go all toward, towards the bass, and we can get more. Of course, there's a lot of bass. Now, I'm doing this in headphones. I believe on my speakers, you know, the studio monitors is just gonna be a little bit too much bass. But you know, in this, in this case, it's fine. You should never mix on headphones. 
if I uh, lean towards the travel side, I'm gonna get a lot more of the travel mass of the base. Shift. So the shakers, uh, the tam yeah, the, the tambourines are just driving me nuts. So I'm gonna go towards the base side. Why you know the base side? So this is what this can do. Now if I restore back to default, and notice the difference. Alright, okay, so if I go to restore defaults, remember we can use this just as a tilt EQ. So if I enable, I can go towards the base, less travel, you can really hear that. Trouble. Yeah, and of course I don't like it. That I want more bass. Alright. Alright, so that's it. That's pretty much the whole plugin. If you if you ask me, uh, if you, you have to give you my opinion, I kind of like this plugin. Uh, if you can think about this, uh, you have a lot of EQs on the EQ on the plugin alliance. Uh, list of EQs and they can do more common stuff or they can do very specific stuff this one leans towards the uh, goes kind of a, towards the uh, more specific and that's why I like it it gives you something very specific and I don't uh, create the guides or videos about plugins I don't like uh, I kind of did that in the past I don't like it I don't like it. I don't want to do that anymore if I like the plugin I just create a guide about this because this uh, video is about is about the guide we learn how to use the controls we learn how it works behind the scenes and then we just test it and that's it and you know we're done it's not about my opinion but if I have to give you my opinion I like it you know it still gives you a little bit you know, a little bit of magic Right, so that's it. That's pretty much how it works. So if you like this, uh, remember to like and subscribe. And if you have the money and you want to buy me a coffee because you like what I do, you can check out the description. You have links for Patreon. You have PayPal. You have a lot of you know links so you can uh, maybe buy me a coffee if you want. All right, so see you on the next one.